Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the second grade concept of fractions, specifically how we can partition these objects, these circles, and break them up into equal parts, and we will do it in 5 minutes or less. The parts that I'm going to break each of these circles into must be equal. If one part is larger than the other, then they're not considered fractions. So we'll start with our most basic fraction here. And so I'm going to take this line and I'm going to cut it exactly in half. And so well, that's what we're going to call each of these two parts. These two parts are called halves. And if I were to shade in this bottom part right here, then I can say I have shaded in one half. And that's the only tricky part about half, is when you just talk about one half, it's H-A-L-F. When you talk about two halves, the F changes to the V-E-S. So that's a little bit tricky. This next fraction is going to be not two equal parts, but it's going to be three equal parts. So this is called thirds. And so let's say I shade in one third here and one third here. So I can say that I have shaded in two Thirds. So you notice the first word is going to name how many parts are shaded in. And the second word is going to name the fraction. In this case, we are looking at thirds. So as we keep going, I've done two equal parts. I've done three equal parts. Now let's do four equal parts. So you can probably guess what it is. It's going to be fourths. Now, halves and thirds are a little bit different. Their fractional name changes a little bit, so three changes to thirds. But after you get past thirds, every single fractional name is going to be the number of pieces plus a THS. That's going to be very easy to remember. Halves and thirds are just the ones that are a little bit different. So if I were to shade in one-fourth, I can just simply write one-fourth. Remember, our first word names the number of pieces that are shaded in. The second word names the number of pieces all together. They have to be equal parts. Now we've got two equal parts, three equal parts, four equal parts. I'm going to skip the fifths. Those are really difficult to draw unless it's a, a rectangle. And you're not going to run into fifths very often. But I am going to do sixths. So when I'm looking at sixths, this is how we draw. We go straight down. And then we kind of draw, we don't draw a regular X, we have to draw kind of a fat X for each of these chunks to be equal. And so I'm just going to write sixths right here. And once again, you notice I said how many pieces there are. There are six added the THS. So let's say I shade in three sixths. And you notice my, my three sixths don't have to be touching. So you can shade in three sixths like this, and that's fine because even though they're not touching, you still have three out of the six pieces shaded in. So we're going to name that three sixths. So we've done two parts, three parts, four parts, six parts. We're going to skip seven because uh, just like the fifth, sevenths are kind of hard to draw. So what we're going to do is we're going to Pretend like we're breaking it up into fourths here. And then we're going to cut each of those fourths in half. And that's going to give us our eighths. I'm going to have eight equal parts. I'm going to write that right here. Eighths. So what we're going to do is we're going to write the word eight. And then we're just going to add a, a, an HS. You don't need to add a THS because you've already got a T at the end of eight. And so once again, we can kind of shade in uh, one part there. And I can say that is one. Eighth. And then we're going to end with a really, really big number. We're going to do twelfths. So the way we're going to do twelfths is we're going to pretend like we're drawing sixths. Remember, you get that one vertical line, and you have a fat X, so that looks like sixths. And then you're going to cut each of these sixths in half. You're going to keep drawing these extra lines, and it gets really small. But if you want to pause the video and count, you can see we have 12 equal parts. So twelfths is going to, we're going to change the V to an F, and there's our twelfths.